Okay, working in the concertina again, and we had been doing them in black and white and gray, doing this concertina in black and white and gray, and my suggestion is to do the entire, just work on the con the this concertina um, in black, white, and gray, the whole book, the front side, the back side, everything. And keep this, work at this occasionally whenever you feel like playing or you want to get some freedom and um, practice in with your values. Um, then you'll have, the, the entire concertina will be a guide for you, um, a record of your values, your baby mama papa, your mark making, um, the the whole freedom thing, you know, the concertina really allows for a lot of freedom and a lot of self expression and because it's it's just so freeing. I don't I think it's magic <laughs> is what I think. But um so that's what I suggest that you guys do is to don't put color in this book. Use it specifically to look back on it for your baby mama papa and um, to have it as a black, white, and gray value guide. Okay, so I had done a few. Oh, six maybe. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine or ten uh, spots here. And you guys can do as many as you want at a time. Sometimes I just do six. But this one I did what, 10 or so, and as I look at it, it looks to be to me that it was awfully dark, a lot of darks, which is fine, nothing wrong with that. Um, I had gone through and showed the Baby Mama Papa in a previous video, and all the different Baby Mama Papas that I had in my, my work, but now I'm going to go and do about six more pages, and as I look back on these... I'm going to do next what I don't have here. And so here I have a lot of dark. And so, and I have a lot of, um, I would say the majority of it is dark. And, and so when I get ready to go with my next few pieces, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I've got nine there too. When I get ready to do this, as you can see, I've already um, put down, I've already laid down some collage pieces. Most of the, all of this is collage. So I, so what I'm doing is I'm wanting to do something different from the last 10 pieces. So for me, that is less darks, more white and pale grays. Um, the last 10, I did the, um, I did collage last. I did mark making first. I'm going to switch that up on this. I did the collage first. And then I may go back in with some dark darks with mark making last. So that's what you want to do. Kind of mix things, shake things up, mix things up to, um, kind of just, uh, the word for it, um, get yourself in the mode of experimentation, okay? So just think about whatever you did last, change it up, do something completely different. Even in our regular work, too, that's a good thing to do when you're doing series work. So here we have what I have put laid down, there's collage pieces. Some are stencil, some are my own. Stencil, stencil. Some are my own, um, oh, acemic, acemic writing and um, scribbles that I had done. These are some stencils again. So as you can see, um, I'm leaving more white space, okay? Because on the previous 10, I didn't. So I'd like to experiment doing that, leaving more white space, and just going in with some light gray and then later maybe doing some embellishments at the end with some mark making. 
but very little. So that's what I'm thinking. So here I go with my gray. And you know, I like to, um, you can let your book just fall off the edge of the table and then the weight of it will hold it down. Um, I like to look at the, four, five, six, there's six here. And I like to take that many at a time and look at it as if it were an entire piece of art. Um, it's a good thing to do. It's a good thing to practice doing. Sometimes I just, especially when I'm moving on to the next um, thing, which would be the next value or the or mark making or whatever I'm moving on to, then I sometimes take just two at a time and look at them. But I flip back and forth from looking at it as one and then looking at it as two. You know, so looking at it big and then looking at it small. Looking at it big and looking at it small. This is the way you train yourself with composition. I wanted to keep the gray really light because I know I have a heavy hand and um, i worried that I would probably go too far with it. I, I do want to save white, save a lot of white in this. I'm going to try <laughs> to do that. So moving on. And because the gray is so light, it doesn't cover completely, which is what I wanted. I want to still be able to see some of that collage. Watch your negative space, your negative space shape. Same, same, kind of same.
Credit cards are wonderful. We'll let that dry. Okay, so as I said, I'm challenging myself with these next pieces. Um, I want for these pieces to be lighter um, in values. But even though they're going to be lighter in value, overall value, the baby mama papa still has to be there. So I'm still continuing to think about the baby mama papa as I work. And also I'm just thinking about um, trying not to go back into my old way of making it things really dark. Um, bold. I like bold stuff, but sometimes I like really delicate work too. And, and it's very difficult for me to go delicate. It's just, I'm just not that kind of a person. So anyway, I have some fun um, dotted tissue here in the light gray. And I'm going to go through and collage a bit of that on. It can feel hard when you, a little bit hard when you try to do something that you're not used to doing. But it's a good exercise. It's good to do that and every once in a while and just stretch yourself in that way. Remembering um, design where you want to have something like, uh, for instance, this. It's got a lot of design here, <clears throat> but then not a lot up in here. So I'm thinking maybe up in this section would be good. This tissue is so super thin that you don't really have to mess with it too much.
lot going on here. So let's see. So, as I said, my goal here is to challenge myself to do work that is lighter. And instead of having a lot of really dark, dark values, like I have had in the first few pieces, sections here, I'm going to dial that back and leave some of my darks. They'll be the baby. My darks in here will be the baby, I'm pretty sure because I want to have lighter work. So as I continue through, um, I'm, a little, I'm getting a little stuck here. I don't know why, but I can't figure out what to do next. So I turned the book this way. And right away then I see a possibility for um, a design pattern to kind of go throughout like this. So don't, you know, forget to do that. You can turn, 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 turn the book any which way that you want to see if you can get unstuck a little bit. So this way just wasn't doing it for me. I don't know why, but um, I have a feeling it's because there are two very same pieces here. They're different, but they are the same in shape, size. So that's tripping me up a little bit. So I'm going to go this way. And I want to just say, too, that this is very, this section that I'm doing is very thinky-thinky, unlike this one, which was very spontaneous and um, free. So... It challenges you to move back and forth between the two states. Um, that my net now, after I do this, I will go back to a real loose and fluid and fast, spontaneous work. Okay, so I'm going to dig into the to the design in these sections a little bit more, and I believe I'm going to go in with a darker gray.
I'm going to stick with that same format. Looking at it this way, that seemed to work for me. So looking at this section, there's a lot going on. And I, because there's a lot going on, I'm going to do a very, just a very little with this, with the dark. So I have to plan it, kind of plan it strategically so that I don't go overboard like I usually do, <laughs> putting too much in and, um, might look at it this way again.
same here. Pretty busy. Want to make an impact. Don't want to go too dark. Um, it gets harder when you don't simplify from the start. So you, it's hard to then go back and simplify it if there's already too much going on, which is what's going on here for me. But um, like I said, I'm challenging myself to start off a lot more simpler so that I can finish a lot easier. That seems easier to me. I don't always achieve it, but...